Welcome to the first game of the day, and I'm a bit worried by this one because uh, it's really quiet. So yeah, this game's called The Haunted Hotel. Um, it's a short game uh, taking place in a long, long, long corridor, as it says on the description. And it's the first game, so I'm going to be a bit easier on them. Right, so sit back, relax, and enjoy the madness, and uh, let's get into this. Oh, okay. Not too loud, that's good, that's good, not too bad. Alright, so we have a bunch of doors here, all numbered. Uh, do we have to go into the first one? I'm gonna check it out. Oh, there's zero. No, no. Okay. For some reason, I'm bouncing. I don't know why. Am I just walking on a big bouncy castle or something? Hmm. Is this floor just layered with trampoline? I'm not sure. Yeah, so I, I, they weren't wrong. This is a long, long, long corridor, and we're just fucking walking down there. Imagine if this were just a game. You just reach the end, and oh, there's my hotel room. Guess I'm just gonna go in, have something to eat, you know, watch some TV, and uh, go to sleep. Yep, that's the game. Oh, bloody hell. Are we really on number 50? Well, this is interesting, isn't it? Oh, oh, a light is flickering. Well, it was, so that means that's, that's where I gotta go. Oh, <gasps> ah, oh my God. As soon as you push me back out, you just bring me back in, don't you? Oh, wonderful. All right, oh, someone's left a great big mess. I mean, how are they going to clean this up properly? It's gonna sink into the carpet. All right, who, who done this? Open the door. I'll remember this number, and I'll come back. Right, so I'm guessing I just... Continue on? Is that all we're doing is just like, you know... Walking down the corridor and things just... Will just happen and you just gotta continue. So yeah. How are you guys doing? You doing alright? I hope so. Hope you're having a... A wonderful day. Because I certainly am. You know. Spending my time wisely. Yeah, fucking hell, when will this end? I mean, this is just ridiculous now. Can I, can I just turn around? Will there be something down there? I don't know. Oh, shit! Okay, that actually got me. All right, fair play. That was actually a pretty good ski. You know? A bit of tension has been built up, and uh, you caught me off guard. Well done. Okay. Yeah. Of course, it's another creature that I have come across before in games. One that crawls. Doesn't like to use their fucking feet. Well, actually, they, they do use their feet, but you know what I mean. They're not two-legged. They, they prefer to be on all fours. So, yeah. Now I'm really going to watch out game, you know. Oh, an elevator. I think that is, yeah. I guess that's the end. Yeah. So. Hope you guys enjoyed this. I mean, imagine if this elevator just leads me to another fucking long corridor I have to go through. There we are. <laughs> and there it is. Oh. What is with the bouncing and shaking? Oh. There we go. Thanks for playing. Do you know what, right? That was, it was pretty boring for most of the part, but it, I will give it. It got, it got a scare out of me. Um. So, there we go. <laughs> I'll say that. For... Your first attempt, I've seen a lot worse. So, thumbs up. And now onto the second game, which is called Rusty Barrel, in which we pilot a small, cramped and old submarine. So yeah, sit back, relax, and enjoy the madness. And of course, it is a horror game. So yeah, just to let you know that. I don't play enough of them on this, on this fucking channel. Right, the Rusty Barrel is an old deep sea submarine that specializes in collecting minerals from the ocean floor. 
The submarine has rather modest characteristics. It is slow and has limited maneuverability. It is extremely difficult to work in narrow spaces. Your main task is to collect minerals from the ocean floor and deliver them to their destination. You will have to operate in narrow gorges at a depth of more than 4,000 meters. Be careful as the submarine is fragile and leaks are possible. That's just great, so I have to watch out for the leaks, right then? For such cases, you will have a repair tool. As, as I should, I mean, how the fuck... <laughs> how the hell am I going to plug these fucking holes? There's probably plenty of ways. But yeah, good luck. Uh, thank you, I'm going to need it probably. Hmm, so this may require some multitasking. Alright, so... Alright, so we've got the radar and stuff, yeah. We can see what's out there. Objectives and coordinates. So we've got to get the 4,000, I think I said, didn't I? So, oh, look at that! Right, salute. Salute Captain Duck. Or is it Captain Goose? And uh, nah, I'm going to say Captain Duck. It's Captain Duck. Yes. What shall I do, Captain Duck? Tell me. Give me some orders, sir. Huh. I will do them. To the best of my ability. Right, so... Oh. Ah, there we go. There's a repair tool. Uh, you can take only one item. So, how do I put them down? Do I just put it back? Yeah. Right. I'll be to put the fires. Okay. Ah! It quacks! Yes! Right away, sir! I got this! You know you can believe in me! Right, so... Right, let's move then. Right, so we have to be very careful. Oh. Yeah, this, this game uh, piqued my interest because it is a bit different, you know? Hmm, and I am intrigued. Ooh, what's this? Oh. Oh, wait, something came up. Something came up. How do I, uh... Oh, that's the wrong fucking button. Right. So let's grab it, is it? Grab it! I think I may have missed. Oh, no, it is mine! <laughs> Look, Captain Duck, I did it! Are you proud of me yet? Please say you're proud of me. I beg. Right, move forward. I've actually forgotten how to let go of this, uh... Yeah, so that's gonna be, it's gonna be great. Um, I'm gonna go this way. I mean, if, if I have to guess, they both go the same way. It's just going around in a fucking circle. Oh! Shit, any damage? I don't think so, I think it would have been an alert. We're fine. Oh fuck, okay, I'm, I'm driving very fucking poorly. Right. Let's grab it. Right, so four more of these, I guess. Right. So, can I just, like... No, hold on. Ah, right, so I just click it. Just just to make sure, because, you know, I don't want to fucking be panicking, saying, What's the button? What's the button? Right. Easy now. Oh, God, this is pretty narrow. Wait. Uh oh. Uh oh, let go. Shit. We have leaks. Repair. Ah. See, nice simple stuff. Right, back to what we're doing. Can, can we, um. Ah. Uh, can't control the submarine with this in my hand. <sighs> Whatever you say, game. Right, oh, we found another one. Alright. There we go. Grab it. Yes. Yes. The shiny thing. It's all mine. And forever will be. Right. Oh, fuck whales. <laughs> Don't crash another, <laughs> crash another whales. <laughs> right. Found another one. After this, there'll be two more to go. So yeah, so far this is, you know, it's basic stuff. I am waiting for something to pop out at me. I'm guessing a shark, maybe. You know, that tends to be the, uh, you know, the creature that's used as the enemy in 
uh, games which are involved underwater. Oh fuck! Okay, okay, okay. Oh, there's blood. Oh, what the hell? Is that mine? Oh fuck! Come on, spray. Why, why are you not doing it properly? There we are. I don't know what I hit. I did. I, I was going like you know forward. Don't worry, Captain Duck. Don't worry. I've got this. There we go. Right. Back to what we we're doing. <laughs> See, panic over. There was no need to panic at all. We're completely fine. Ah, there we are. Bingo. You're mine. Eh, eh, eh. Try and stop me, fish. Yeah, you can't stop me. Do you know why that is? Because you're just a fish. That's the reason why you can't stop me. Oh, fuck. How do you turn this thing? Okay. Okay. <laughs> It's like that fucking scene from Austin Powers right now. I'm just getting the thing stuck in the... <laughs> the goddamn... Narrow... Way. I don't know what I'm saying right now. Oh, fuck's sake! No! Prepare! Okay, now this was my fault. <laughs> I can see why. It will leak now. There we go. Boom. Alright, let's go and get this last one. I'm a submarine in the deep blue sea. Somebody help me. Fuck! I'm leaking again. Right, there we go. Yep. Bloody hell. I am doing pretty badly with my driving of this thing right now. Right. Tony, Captain Duck, are you okay? Wonderful. Right. Onward! Ah! It is here! The last one, but where is it? Huh? Oh, fucking great. Oh. Oh, shit. So, yeah, that looked like a, an anglerfish. I mean, that's a bit different. I mean, I was expecting a shark. So yeah, there we go. That was the Rusty Barrel. That was um, a pretty pretty decent game, you know? Something different. And with a different enemy in the end. So yeah, thumbs up. I enjoyed this. And now time for the last game of today. And it's going to be a game called Go to Bed. So yeah, it's a short horror game about going to bed. So sit back, relax, enjoy the madness. <laughs> Situation one, subject A. Okay, oh. Go to bed. You can't make me. Press E to go to bed. There we go, I completed I complete the game. I'm, I'm not good. Look at that. Takes a lot of skill to do what I just did there. Did you lock the front door? No. I was supposed to? Oh shit, I may have fucked up. <laughs> Situation failed, someone got in. Oh, so I gotta try and stop uh, this person from getting in. Alright, so it's not just about going to bed. Well, it's about much more. <laughs> Alright, so... God, is there any way I can change the sensitivity? Hmm. Oh, close the window. Oh, okay. So I guess we just gotta look around for things, maybe? I don't know. Oh, the alarm. Anything else? I'm just looking for things to interact with. Oh, hide the knives. And lock door. Is that it? Ah, fuck it. Let's give it a try. Wait, what was that? Did, did you just see that? Use. <gasps> That's the door. Right, let's go to bed. Right, ask me again. Yes. Sorry, I've locked it this time. <laughs> Idiot. Uh, did you close the window? Yes. Oh, you're not getting in through there. I closed it. 
Did you arm this home security system? Yes, I did. <laughs> As you just saw right now. Oh, you can hear. Sorry. And did you hide the knives? Yes. Is that it? Is that what I had to do? Get him, cops! Get him! Yes! Well done! No one will get in. Okay, so I see what I have to do. Alright, situation two. Oh, there's, a, there's another one. Now I've moved into a different... A different place. I mean, you don't blame me, do you? Because after what just happened... I don't... I don't want to be staying there. Right. So it seems like I drink a lot. Don't take out my... My bins. Yeah, okay. Close window. Set alarm. Lock door. Anything else? You gonna add anything new? Hide the knives. Okay, so this is really simple. Hmm, what's this? Oh, what if they get in through that way? Alright, let's try it. I'm going to go with this one. Uh, hopefully I can get a better night's sleep tonight. Is the house secure? Yes. Are you sure? I said yes, it is. Good. Oh, okay. A third situation. And oh, where are we now? I am not sleeping on there. That does not look hygienic. Oh, I've been captured. What the hell? Who has done this? Oh. I need to leave now. You think? But it's locked. Oh, fuck it, we're going this way. <laughs> Did they really, like, use the toilet roll in the bin as, like, eyes and a mouth? Fucking hell. Right. Oh, oh no! It's a dead body! Oh! Get the key. Get out of here. And the body's gone. Open it. Right, where's the jump scare? Where's the two? Oh! I need to find a way out. Window, perhaps? Shut, I should check for my uh, an alarm before trying it. Maybe I can cut the wire with something. Oh, God. Can I go through here? No. Put away anything useful? There's no way out. Maybe back downstairs? Oh. Why aren't you in bed? Oh, I don't know. Right, so what we're going to do is see if anything else will happen if we don't, you know, lock everything and all that. Do you know what, dead body? You are pretty smart. I mean, it's like that scene from, um, well, it's spoilers here now, right? For Saw. Uh, the ending scene where, like, you know, where John Kramer, you, you think he's just some sort of random dead guy on the floor. And then, it, you know, at the end, it turns out he just... You know, he was alive all along and he was the one behind it all. That's sort of like, you know, with a dead body right there. You know, you think you think they're dead, but no, they're not. They're still well alive. Okay, need to find a way out. Hmm, so we have many options, don't we? Just walk through the door. It's unlocked, I can escape. There we are. Yep. So we escaped on that one. So I guess you could you could say there's two endings. So yeah, guys, there we go. Um, I uh, I enjoyed enjoyed that. It was like you know short and sweet, not too bad. Uh, so yeah, thanks for watching this video, and I'll see you all over the next one. And I'm out. And I'm peace.